what I was going to ask is, you said this is all very easy, but what about training? What's available? So I would really recommend to, um, if people are interested in that type of work, to do fascial manipulation training mm -hmm. after STECO, because it's, it, it's just the perfect add-on to osteopathic training. It's not only open to osteopaths and chiros, it's open to any manual practitioner, um, as far as I'm aware. And, right. uh, and it's, it's fabulous. The, the, they've so systematically gone through what's necessary. Right. They teach the palpation, they teach which fascias are, they, they're teaching the um, physiology of fascia in a fantastic way, and right. that's a fantastic add-on. And this is Steco Foundations? It, uh, I think their courses are just called Fascial Manipulation, and they are worldwide, so you get them anywhere. And what about Molinari, where I know um, you treat in the Molinari Foundation courses, don't you? Yes, yeah, I do. So they teach, the, not treat. Uh, yes, uh, they run in England, they run in London, uh, they run in Frankfurt in Germany, in Vienna in Austria, in Audency in Denmark. They will mm. run in Rome from next year. We have a course in Lausanne in Switzerland. How long is the course? It's, it runs over two years um, and is depending on which country it's in um, between 12 and 18 weekends. So the 12 weekends are three day weekends, the 18 ones are two day weekends. Um, yeah, and we cover anything from the young woman's health, puberty, pregnancy, fertility, um, birth, obviously, postpartum. Right. And then. So these into, are all face to face weekends? They're courses. all face to face weekends. Mm -hmm. Or like, no, country dependent. In Frankfurt, there's a lot of online work as well. And, you know, I'm just idly wondering if there's any online training people might be able to take part in. Well, there is online. I mean, I'm, I've just had, um, you know, my own online course. Which I think is um, um, your, your little your postcard yes, here. Yes, refers yeah, to that. And we'll me. send that picture out to people as well. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So uh, in fact, the Vienna School of Osteopathy um, is, has in, is so kind to host me as, a, as an online course. And at the moment, we have a... This is a pediatric course and we've just launched it in English as well. So it was launched last year in German and I've just looked today, we've got the communities now about 125 participants um, and the English community is still small, seeing that that literally launched last week, Tuesday. Um, yeah. But it's a pediatric on demand course, so I, I teach everything that I think is worthwhile knowing uh, about the child in the first year and I'm planning to do a, a second series about the preschool child and then the third series about the teenager. So it's an online course, but lasting how long? You've talked about a whole year there. Um, no, this is access for a long time. There are 17 chapters with various amounts of lectures in them and other material and quizzes and discussion forums. And I also provide four times a year a live webinar with right. a topic. Well, we don't want to talk about discussion. that because that's competition. No, it's not competition. <laughs> No, it's supposed to support the paediatric community is often in individual places so small that they can't discuss um, cases, for example. And yes. I want to have a community where sort of the baseline knowledge is similar and people can then discuss what they um, what they would, you know, I've had case X, Y, Z, that has happened. I've done mm. ta, 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 what would you guys do? Anything else you could recommend? And then there's, and there's in, as I say, in the German group, there's quite a lively discussion about cases. And I love that, that people are able to support each other. And yeah, I'm having yeah. sort of a, a soothing eye over it all. 